Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a fragrance haul and this is an Amazon fragrance haul. It's my first time that I am able to order fragrances from Amazon because where I was living, they wouldn't ship fragrances from Amazon. So I took advantage on Prime Day and I picked up four new fragrances from Amazon. So I'm going to be trying them here with you guys, letting you guys know the notes of them. Some of these are very hyped up fragrances so they're very popular in TikTok and on YouTube. I've heard so much about them, but then again, I've heard people raving about them, but I haven't really looked into them in full detail because I wasn't able to receive them or get them shipped over to me. So I am definitely very intrigued by these and I'm gonna let you guys know my thoughts and my opinions on these fragrances. Please always keep in mind that fragrance is super subjective and what might smell amazing to me might not smell amazing to you and the notes that I pick up could be totally different to the notes that you pick up. There are reasons for why I had to put that out there. Just wanted to make sure that I reminded you guys of that. And if you are new here and you love all things girly, fragrance talk, beauty, self-care, all of that, go ahead and subscribe because that's all that I talk about on this channel. And I would love to have you back for my future uploads. So with that said, let's jump right into the fragrance haul. <laughs> So on Prime Day, I saw that some of these fragrances were cheaper than what they already are because they are pretty affordable, but I got them at an even better deal. So I went ahead and picked up four new fragrances. I'm going to share my thoughts on them. And there's two that I have not tried. And then there's two that I kind of sniffed, but in this video, I cannot give you guys like a full detailed review and my opinions on how I feel about them because I just added them to my collection. So I do need some time to wear them different places different settings to see how they perform how they last all of that this video is more just like getting to know them reading the notes of them and just giving like my first impressions on them so the first one i'm going to talk about is from le man gourmand is the house and then the fragrance is sucre de cotton and this is a really pretty blue shade juice inside and the bottle is pretty simple but they're cute really really small this is one fluid ounce i got it i don't remember how much i got it for but i know that they are pretty affordable and i'm going to go ahead and read the main accords i'm so happy to be doing this i'm so excited because i haven't filmed in so long especially like fragrance content so the main accords are vanilla sweet fruity powdery and fresh the top note is red berries middle note is cyclamen and the base note is vanilla and sugar right off the bat when i sprayed this fragrance it reminded me of something from bath and body works i couldn't put my finger on exactly what but i know that i have like a body spray that smells like this I definitely have something that smells like this. I don't know if it's a perfume in my collection or a body mist, but it definitely reminds me of something. Very, very sweet. I pick up on the red berries, but they're like dumped in sugar. They are so sweet. There's also a clean feeling to this as well. So it's very clean and fresh, yet really sweet and sugary. I wasn't a fan of it too much. When I sprayed it on my hand, I was like, you know, I could live without this. It's not a must have to me. I put it on in my hand and I was doing things around the house, you know, organizing stuff and it does project really nicely and I was picking it up like here and there as I was doing things. So I really did enjoy that about it. Like I would just move my hand around and I would get like a whiff of the smell and it smelled really nice. Like the scent trail that it leaves. It's really, really pretty. And I can actually say that it lasted more than four hours like that I was doing that. So I'm not going to say that I love it because I don't love it, but I don't dislike it. So it's kind of like a like right now. It's really pretty, flirty. It kind of has like this clean vibe to it along with a super sugary, sweet candy, almost like cotton candy vibe to it. So people on Fragrantica are saying that this reminds them of Pastel Skies. That might be it. Yeah, from Bath & Body Works. I think that's exactly what it is, which I think I decluttered Pastel Skies. Also, it reminds them of Cotton Candy Clouds from Bath & Body Works. So there you go. And they would pair really nicely together. If you have that body care, you can definitely layer it together. Yeah, I just feel like there is definitely a cotton candy in here, 
but those berries really do come through as well so it gives like this tartiness in there a little bit but it's still very sweet so that's kind of like the main gist that i'm getting with this one right now i'm definitely going to be wearing it i'm gonna add it to my tray like the shelf where i have my fragrances and just pick it up this month and august and i will definitely report back to you guys with an update on how i feel about it how it wears but my first impressions very girly very sugary if you love those like gourmand sugary not gourmands in eatable like edible. I don't really think it's that, but it's gourmand as in just sugary sweet, girly type of scent with a little bit of berries thrown in there. So that is Sucre de Cotton. And then this one, I did not hear about it on social media. I'm pretty sure it has been talked about for sure. But this one was just, I was shopping for this one. And then, you know, Amazon gives you like the rest of what they offer in that same line or whatever. This one popped up and it totally caught my attention because you guys know I'm a coconut girl. I am on the team coconut. I love coconut. And there's so many different ones. There's one called pistachio brulee. I need to see what that's about. Ooh, ooh, the notes. Milk mousse, pistachio, and vanilla pod. That one sounds real good. I didn't see that one last time. That sounds so, oh my God, they have so many. They have a matcha one. They have cream vanille, which is apricot, jasmine, brown sugar, and amber. Anyways, let's talk about the one that I did pick up because I saw this and it just caught my attention so, so much. And this one is light de coco. Look at the juice. It literally looks like coconut milk, you guys. Now I will say this one sadly is leaking from here. So I don't know if that's like, something maybe a defect in my bottle or i don't know if they all do that so be careful if you do pick this up but i'm gonna go ahead and read the main accords for this one i just the look of it got me so the main accords are coconut vanilla sweet lactonic tropical and nutty the main accords are bergamot at the top i already love that middle note is coconut and the base note is vanilla and praline yes Sounds like my type of fragrance, just reading the notes. And I already smelled this and I love it. So this one was a complete yes. Like when I sprayed both of these, for sure the one that I was like, yes, 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 was this one. It's, it's so my vibe. This is like everyday groceries, errands, bedtime, for sure bedtime type of fragrance milky like tonic creamy like dulce de coco or like leche de coco or something like that like it just makes me think of the creamiest coconut milk but it smells like a perfume you're not literally dripping yourself in like sticky coconut milk it's like a like tonic refreshing the bergamot the bergamot is like it, it just added that little bit of like freshness to it so that it's not too thick i love it I love this so much. I cannot wait to start wearing it paired with like some coconut body care. Mm-hmm. It's so, so, so good. Now I will say, unfortunately, this one lasted longer than this one. Of course, right? The one that I like the least lasted the longest, but ooh, this smells so good. I don't care if I have to spray it like every two hours because just the smell of it, it's not sunscreen or sunblock or whatever type of coconut it is coconut milk creamy like tonic sweet gourmand for sure mm, so good i love this i cannot wait to start wearing this so i'll definitely update you guys but i feel like i'm gonna go through this like that because it's just so easy to pick up and throw it on definitely like a summer fragrance i won't wear that in cold weather but for the rest of summer i'm definitely going to be enjoying that for sure okay this next one i'm going to try it out on my skin and not on a tester strip because this one the applicator i thought it was spray but i didn't read that's why i literally just like ordered these because i have heard about them on social media but i don't really know much about them so this one is from swiss arabian which i am familiar with and i have tried from other scents from the house before and this is layali rouge let me know if you guys have tried it what do you think of it this is my first time trying this i did look at it and kind of smelled it like from the bottle but here is the bottle super pretty and unique not my favorite type of bottle but it's very unique i will say that and it's like reminds me of like middle eastern vibes so it's definitely that i thought this was a spray bottle type of perfume but it is 
an oil. So this is a concentrated perfume oil. So this is probably really good for like layering. I don't know how strong it's gonna be by itself, but the main accords for this one are floral, fruity, tropical, sweet, rose, and woody. The top notes are, these notes got me. They, they really did. I looked at the notes before ordering it and I was just like, whoa, like I am, have I been missing out? The top notes are hibiscus, sandalwood, and coconut. Middle notes are peach and rose. And the base notes are mango, floral notes, pineapple, papaya, and lemon. You guys, that sounds like so amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on this hand that I don't have anything on. Ooh, I do like this applicator though because you actually do get a good amount of oil. Mmm. That is really fruity. The first thing that came to my mind was like a fruit basket full of like exotic fruits. Pretty like soft though. It's not something that's like beast mode or anything. I feel like this would be perfect to layer with like your favorite fruity fragrances like Dolce & Gabbana L'Imperatrice, Valentino Donna Born in Roma Coral Fantasy, Dolce & Gabbana Dolce Lily. I, I'm thinking like those are the things that I would put on with this. All of your super fruity tropical fragrances would pair so nicely with this oil. Would I wear this on its own? I definitely have to give it a try to see if it's something that actually performs good by itself. But I feel like it's very close to the skin right now that I'm smelling it. But it's beautiful. It has like this muskiness to it and it doesn't have any like oud smelling touches to it or anything like that it just smells super tropical luxurious type of tropical like exotic really nice the more it dries down it's delicious it smells really fruity very tropical perfect for summertime so yeah i'm gonna have to try this one out but if you are like me and you love fruity fragrances fruity florals I'm not sure if i pick up coconut in here i'd pick up more of like little tiny bit of florals in the background and just a bunch of fruits bunch of bunch of fruits blended in together very smoothly really really nice so that is la yali rouge and then the last one i was so excited for this i do not like the bottle you guys know i have to let you know about the bottles because i love really pretty bottles and this is just not my favorite but it gets hyped so much like it gets hyped up like crazy on social media so i had to try it out and this is yara by latafa i finally can give you guys my opinion on this because i was not able to try these out before here is the bottle i mean it's not it's not bad, it's just very bulky to me. So the main accords for this one are sweet, vanilla, powdery, tropical, fruity, musky, and floral. And then the notes for this one, beautiful as well. The notes are beautiful. I made sure to look at the notes before I got it. So there is another one that comes in like a tannish packaging. And I read on Fragrantica like the notes and the reviews. And I don't think that one's for me. And we're gonna, I'm gonna talk about it later. Maybe some of you guys have tried it and you could let me know if you have similar taste to me, if maybe I should try that one. But from what I was looking at, I don't think I should. But this one, this one sounded good. This one, the top notes are Heliotrope, Orchid, and Tangerine, yes. Middle notes are Gourmand Accord and Tropical Fruits. And the base notes, Vanilla, Musk, and Sandalwood. That sounds really, really nice. So I figured that one was like a safe line buy for me. And I think I got this one for like less than $40. Ooh, this is that girl. Oh mm, my God, this is girly, flirty, sexy, like just instant yes instantly i think this might be my favorite out of all of them along with the coconut one but i think it's even better than that one. Oh my god there's something creamy in here and smooth but very feminine fruity it's like berries and milk or something you guys oh my god this is so good they did mention pepe jeans for her which i had and i got rid of because there was something in here in there like i liked it a lot but then there was something in there that sometimes like didn't settle too well with me but this. let me spray this on my skin hopefully it smells just as good Police. Yeah, it does have a similarity to Pepe jeans, but it's much better. If I had to choose between those two, I would go with this one because it's just smooth. There's nothing sharp in here. Mmm, my God, that smells so good. Uh, they also compared it to Mont Blanc Signature, which I can kind of see it, but I still prefer this one because Mont Blanc Signature, I got a lot of compliments with that one, but the 
clementine i think is what was in there started to be like just too much citrusy for me and i i wish that fragrance didn't have that clementine note and it just was the milkiness of it it would be like one of my all-time favorites but because of the clementine it started getting kind of getting on my nerves oh this is so good you guys it's like it just makes me think of pink musk like pink fluffy berries and cream creamy yet a little musky wow 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 you guys this is so good and i do like that it's at an affordable price so that makes me really really happy i'm going to be putting all of these fragrances along with the other fragrances that i have on my tray because that's pretty much what i have right now my collection right now consists of like maybe 30 fragrances until i get the rest of my collection back from the move so i'm very excited to try the, to wear those and experience them and if i had to rank them from how much I am liking them, pretty easy for me. First place would go to Yara, hands down. She just smacked everyone out the way. Next would be my Light de Coco because I just, I'm a coconut girl, I love it. Next up would be La Yali Rouge. And then last place, not that it smells bad, but it's just the one that I vibe with the least and that is Sucre de Cotton. Still nice, but just not my all time favorite out of these. So that is it for my haul today. Please comment down below. I'm sure a lot of you guys have tried these out. A lot of my fragrance lovers, because a lot of you guys have been telling me to try them and I just couldn't because of the whole shipping situation. But now I am like just Give me all the recommendations from Amazon because I can definitely try them out. And let me know how you like them, which ones are your favorite. If you don't like them, I like to hear it all. And go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. So that I know those of you who watched all the way to the end, I like doing this once in a while. It's just so much fun. Go ahead and leave me a coconut emoji with your comment so that I can know that you made it to the end of the video. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate you so much. And don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video because I have more perfume hauls coming up, more perfume reviews coming up, and I'm super duper excited to be back. So with that said, I will see you guys in my next video. Ooh, la, la.